Hey guys, it's Rick from Dreamside Out. How you doing? It's been a long time since I've made a movie. <laughs> a video. I said movie because I'll tell you why. I, I had to make a, a quick YouTube video. I wasn't going to, but I just got inspired right now, this tonight, to make a video. First of all, today is March 1st, and this is my five-year uh, anniversary of living in a van. And I actually had somebody else remind me of that today on, on, uh, on my, uh, in my email, and they congratulated me for living five years in a van. So, yeah, as you know, I've been living in a truck van, and here I am, still in the truck van, that I've the second one that I created. But, but the reason I, I wanted to make a, a quick video tonight is because I just finished watching the movie Nomadland. Uh, it's directed by, I think, I want to pronounce the, the director's name right, Chloe Zao, I think is how you pronounce her name. She's a fairly new director. And uh, it stars um, Frances McDormand, and she's a well-known actress. And also there was uh, David Stratham. Stra Stratham? I, I, you, would re you recognize these folks in the movies. They're, they're very you know, recognizable actors and act professional actors and actresses. And I just wanted to give my impression of the movie after watching it. I was, first of all, I give it thumbs up, man. It was a, it was a great flick. Now, maybe I'm biased because it's a subject that I'm very, you know, dear to my heart because I am one of those folks. And <clears throat> I think that's one of the reasons I, I liked it is because it was very validating to my lifestyle, you know. <clears throat> The, the overall tone of the movie was, uh, you know, pretty melancholy. It kind of, you know, has this, you know, sad kind of melancholy tone to it. However, uh, I don't see that. I don't give that, that aspect of it a thumbs down. I think that kind of a thing is important in storytelling. That was, that was a very uh, good way of conveying the message. Um, of the van dwelling experience because I think it, it get, you know when you, when you get when you when you you get touch people's hearts when you get into the the real you know heart issues that people deal with and that's that's kind of what they focused on a little bit some and what, one of the things I was very impressed with was the blend of <clears throat> professional acting I mean Hollywood level acting ability with real people. I mean, Bob Wells was in the story, for crying out loud. He was actually one of the main supporting characters, and uh, he makes his appearance in very important places. And so, and of course, he's, he's more than just, you know, I don't want to spoil the movie if you haven't watched it. I'd love to talk about this movie more with other van dwellers, by the way, but because there, there's, there, there's some subtle things that it that are kind of conveyed in the story that I think are important. And I, I really am impressed that the, that the, the director, the, the writer, I guess is based on a book, and, but they, they pulled it off. They, they pulled off the, this, this strange attraction that we have to this band dwelling thing because of various things that happen in our lives. Uh, you know, I don't go around though. I mean, you know, I I, I think that that we kind of like to make these YouTube videos portraying this lifestyle as some upbeat, cool thing, uh, which I think it is most of the time. However, this this kind of just gets under the skin. It gets into your into your soul a little bit. And you know, I'm, I really want. There's stuff I want to say, but I w I'm holding back here because I don't want to spoil the movie. It's too soon. The movie just came out not too long ago, February 19th, and I don't want to tell the story and, and take it apart bit by bit without um, ruining the movie for you. But I personally, as a person that's been living this lifestyle for five years, I, I can tell you, I felt the the moments <laughs> in, in that. Just like, uh, you know, like the, the contrast that you have, for instance, 
between nature, this vast nature that you get to see when you just travel around and take off and you go somewhere exotic and just cool, and then the mundane aspect of sitting for hours in a doggone laundromat washing your clothes or characters that you interact with that sometimes are a little, you know, have issues or something. You know, it's 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 a it's it's an interesting it's an interesting take, an interesting look at things. And there was a moment in the film where uh well, I don't, again, I gotta hold, I gotta watch what I say. I don't want to say it. I'm not gonna say it. There's moments in the film. Let's put it that way. There's moments. Look for those moments. There's the, there's some subtle, some subtle messages, and they they did it well. Uh, I think I think the acting was superb. Uh, Frances McDormand, she's just you know she can say so much with just an expression on her face, and uh, and the same with. Uh, the other supporting actor, uh, David Stratham, uh, <clears throat> is it Stratham? Yes, S T R A T H A I M. I've seen him in many movies, by the way. You'll recognize these guys. And then Bob Wells, and and then the other supporting characters. Anyway, I just want to say it's a thumbs up for me, you guys. Go watch the movie, check it out, and it'd be cool to to you know to talk about this sometimes. It's kind of a therapeutic movie. <laughs> okay, it was it was good therapy. It was good therapy for me. Um, I was sitting here, not I wasn't even going to make my annual, you know, anniversary video of van dwelling because I've sort of run out of things to say on my YouTube video. That's why I haven't said much you know how, how many videos can you really make on van dwelling it's time to tell the stories it's time to it's time to start producing the legends and I think that's that's this 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 movie is is part of that uh, so well done and, and they won a golden globe on it hallelujah that's that's just so cool I think that the you know that there you go that 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 hit, must hit a nerve with a lot of folks if you win a golden golden globe on a on a piece like this, um, I wish I I wish I could say some more. I have so much to say about it that I I want to say it, but I don't. I, I think it's too early. I, I'll make another video maybe in the future after it's been out a while and everybody's seen it, and you know how it ends, and you know because I don't want to talk about things. It's got it's got that subtle that subtle pace that goes along and then there's sort of a conclusion and if you look for it I think that the conclusion is something that a van dweller totally understands if, if you if you see how it winds up and where she finds herself in this lifestyle that she kinda ended up in uh, there's an interesting interesting kinda conclusion there so I highly recommend it. Go watch it. And hey, I hope I haven't lost all of my YouTube subscribers by now because <laughs> I've been neglecting making these these videos. But I really hope you'll go out and watch that movie, uh, No Man Land, on Hulu. I think you can you can subscribe to a uh, 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 trial um, version of Hulu or something, and then you can just watch the movie and uh, you don't have to sign up all the time I mean for what am I trying to say here <laughs> it's on Hulu okay whatever you, what do you want to do okay anyway the, Rick from Dreamside Out uh, aside from that I've been doing fine I'm still you know I've been kind of you know, surviving the lockdown situation here uh, where I'm at and I've got a, a particular place I've been parking for months now several months uh, so I can work remote but I do get out on weekends a lot I just haven't been doing a lot of video producing so anyway thanks for watching this and uh, go out go uh, log on to Hulu and watch no man land I'd like I'd like to hear people's comments too about it on, on here you know I, this is this is sort of a 
uh, personal interaction with you guys on this video. Give me your give me your comments, what you think. I'd like to get a discussion going. In fact, we should have some we should have some back and forth videos about it. You know, I think we should we should kind of whip up some some more enthusiasm about the movie and, and with our videos. Uh, I'm sort of behind the curve on it because it's been out for a few weeks now. But anyway, okay, that's it. I've gone over 10 minutes. See, I had to drag my video out to 10 minutes. I'm still a, a, I'm still a worthy YouTuber. you got to make your videos 10 minutes at least. Those of you who do that, you know why. Okay, thanks a lot. You guys take care. Love you all. Uh, happy vanning.